Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Manuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create an Afro hairstyle inside Blender. This tutorial was brought up by one of the subscribers wanting to know how to create an Afro hairstyle inside Blender. So I'm going to be teaching you everything you know need to know and to reduce your guesswork so you can go into creating it with more technical prowls. So before I continue, I would like to say as a, as a YouTube creator, um, especially when creating for um, softwares, we tend to run out of ideas. So if you have any idea uh, for a tutorial, if you have something you're having a hard time on, you can leave it in the comment and I will do well to create that tutorial. So it doesn't have to be a popular topic. Um, I don't care if it gets um, just five views as long as it's helpful to you guys then I'm gonna do that I'm trying to build a community now so you let me know what you want to see in the next video in the comment and I'm going to do that um, also like give this video a thumbs up so that um, it helps the algorithm to recommend this to more blender users and also it helps this channel in a great world great way so this is an artwork which I created particularly for this tutorial and as you can see it's an African character with an afro hairstyle and so we'll be going over how I created this. So to really understand this, uh, which is kind of um, a journey which I took on when creating this tutorial, I wanted to reduce the guest guesswork. Um, I didn't want to just play with settings that I get something that looks like Afro. I wanted to really understand the makeup of it. So I googled it, googled like how this what makes it different, what makes an Afro hairstyle different from the um, typical straight hair or Caucasian hair or Asian hair uh, so basically uh, we're going to I'm going to give you a visual representation of the summary of what I learned so let's say we have um, basically I'm, going to, I'm just going to use a grease pencil so this is your typical um, straight hair so this is pretty easy and straightforward to replicate um, you might get some styling um, especially for females um, which, where it might get some curls or just some slight curls um, which is quite different from the afro hairstyle so for the afro hairstyle um, from just looking at it you can know it has you can recognize it has different textures from the straight hair so those textures are get um, gotten from the structure of the hair itself so this the structure creates the texture that you can see as a whole so basically um, each strand of the Afro hairstyle um, has an helix shape. It has an helix um, style shape. So it's something like this. So th this is how each strand um, is being, this is the structure of each strand, okay? And all the structures combine to um, help create those textures, okay? And this structure also influences the specularity or reflection of the hair so once you understand how the structure um, influences it, it make you creating shaders much much easier so when it's more when it's shorter um, this is more compressed hence it's very shiny compared to um, the more afro when it's longer when it's more when it's bigger it's less shiny because this is now stretched um, so it can just get coily, coily, and it's down stretch. It gets less shiny. But when it's so short and still growing, it's more compressed and more shiny. Okay, so let's um, get started on how you can create it. So I'm going to disable this for now, and let's get started. So for your character, uh, basically you want to tell Blender the position or the the space that you want to generate your hair from and the way you can do that is using vertex group um, so basically you'll be painting weight so i've gone ahead to create one so I, I named it appropriately the afro so if we go into our weight paint editor we can see the coverage of it so it's basically grabbing your brush which you can hit the space bar key for the tool and select the draw brush so you have access to parameters here um, but by default you can just go ahead and start um, drawing 
the um, you, you can just go ahead and start painting it up to work faster if you have a symmetry model um, symmetric model you can enable the X symmetry so if you paint in one side it paints in the other side okay so once you have this set you can go ahead and start creating so this we're going to build this up um, gradually uh, so let's get started I'm going to go ahead and add the particle system and switch it to hair so currently this is set to strip so you can switch this back to strand by going to hair um, you will not see it here but if you switch to EV you can switch it um, from strand to strip um, that's if you want to visualize the final render hair shape um, so I'm going to switch it back to strand and back in cycles I'm going to play with the length so I'm going to um, for this I gave it a length of 0.06 of course, this um, depends on the scaling of your scene and the scaling of your object. Um, of course, the scaling of the afro. So if you want a longer afro, you probably want to make it um, longer um, to generate it. Okay. So next, we can see it generates the particle all over the mesh. But we want, to, we want an isolated area. So we'll go to vertex group and indicate that to select the afro vertex group. So if you want it to also influence the length, um, you can add that. Okay, so once you have this, um, we want to first um, understand, we want to create the base structure. Um, but before that, just for um, more visual clarity, I'm going to switch this to a dark color, um, which you can create a material here, name it, and you can access that here. Okay, so I'm going to reduce this number to like, hundred just this is just for the prototyping stage and I'm going to go to the children tab and click on interpolate I can even reduce this um, right now okay so you need it you need to enable the children to allow you to play with these um, settings um, so I'm going to add a core set settings so as you can see right now it looks quite chunky um, that's because we need more subdivisions so we can go on to viewport display and increase the strand step. So this is basically like adding subdivision. So the more, um, the higher the value, the more vertex it has, it can play with, and the more smoother the geometry, the sm more smoother the strand. Okay. So once we have that, now we can play with the cores. So for the apt uh, apt aptitude, so we we'll set this to 0 0.02. Uh, we can just reduce this. when we start getting um, the shape we want so like I said if you're trying to create an afro it's the helix shape is more stretched um, so um, this is um, okay but we need more um, coiliness so you can go to the frequency and increase this from 2 to like 5 it's going to even make it more more coily as you can see and now we can add more children particles so i'm going to increase this to like 1000 or maybe 500 for now so it's looking good but one thing you can notice is it's very uniform and it doesn't really convey the afro hairstyle there's a use for this um, which is for styling like the waves um, but this is not that's not what we're trying to create now so we need to break this uniformity so to break it down, break it up, you can go to roughness and you want to play with the uniform. So if you hold down shift, you can play with this value. You just want to kind of mess things up and you can increase the size to kind of even randomize stuff some more. But to really um, get it to work, you want to play with the endpoints. I'm going to change this point 0.03. So it starts breaking off those uniform shapes. And also I'm going to increase the random to point two okay so it makes it quite random so we want to reduce this value some more like this okay so that's broken down broken of that uniform shape so at this point you can play still play with the land you can still play with how coily you want it to be you can always go ahead and increase the 
frequency we can try seven to make it even more coily then you know what you're going for okay so once you have this um, you're pretty much set to go into the next step so you can increase this value oh no for this um, <laughs> I'm going to pause this and come back okay if my PC survived that <laughs> so I'm going to reduce this but to something reasonable like 30 okay so we have the shape looking good so at this point you can just eyeball it especially uh, it's also good to work with reference um, it makes it even increase your chances to succeed even more so you want to check what you want to check for is like you're still retaining that helix shape you want to check that you don't have uniformity so you want to make sure it's random okay so now we can go ahead and start rendering so this is not the final look after you after we render to just test it out then we can go ahead and style the afro so we can bring up our material editor so if you hold shift f3 you can switch between the node editor so i'm going to just show you my final hair um, the set settings so you can see what i have it's pretty basic so we don't need this so at this point i'm going to switch the render material to fro okay so if you look at i'm just using a basic principle bsdf okay so you can copy my settings so i just have the melanin sent to one um, because this is uh, it's, it, black, um, afro characters tend to have darker hair so that's what you get so you can preview it so when using the principal hair bsd uh, the principal shader for hair it doesn't work with ev um, it doesn't preview but it works in cycles so we can see it's working but it's the, ch it, the chunks are big so you can preview the chunk like we did earlier to go to ev and strip so you can see how big it is so we need to reduce this so to reduce this you have to go to the hair shape so set this to 0.1 so this is the important and tricky fact um, part um, normally you tend to kind of reduce just the root and leave the tip at zero but for afro hair it will not work so you want to make the tip and the root have the same value so we can do 0.1 and so my final setting was 0.01 okay so it's quite tiny um, which is okay um, that's how you get the textured look um, because it's the combination of those coils that brings everything to, together and of course you have to increase the final children particles so I'm gonna set it to 70 um, which is okay so point one, so like the tip and the um, root has to be the same um, value. So now we can preview this, the rendered mode. So I decided to render it and we can see how it's looking. So it's looking uh, quite nice now. And basically what we need to do is uh, increase the render steps because currently we don't have it um, render setting as um, so we, we have not subdivided the render yet so if we look at the viewport we can see this turn step is seven so you want to go to render and make sure this has the same value so that what you see in the viewport is what you see in the final render and you want to increase the numbers of particle uh, afro tend to have more hair but thinner strands so um, we can go ahead and render this again so it's done rendering now and you can see the amount of difference that we get now um, so we'll just increase the number of particles and making sure your render strand is matching the viewport so for the final step um, which is to kind of groom it um, so it's basically straightforward uh, once you have your number set to 500 we can select the head and go into texture um, particle strand mode um, particle edit mode I'm going to turn off display particles so this is what you see and we can grab the comb brush and just start styling it so we want to kind of 
any shape you want like um, depending on your uh, the reference or your concept just round this up and everything is just going to work because you have you have the basic um, stuff working for you now so if you want it to be longer you can make it longer if you want certain part to be shorter um, you can do that here okay so here's it it's all set and we can go ahead and render it out and there you have it you have the afro um, so you can go ahead and render it in the higher resolution to have it looking even awesome and so this is the final one so it's exactly the same workflow which i used for it so i hope this tutorial was helpful if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the subscribe and if you wish to see more from me um come back next time okay so bye bye for now see you next time